coming the right way. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be a good day. This is Jason Lauren on Melbourne's Nova 100. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Monday. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Loz. And morning. good morning, Mr. Stanaway. Good morning, Melbourne. That's right. Clint is joining us. If you didn't hear over the weekend or missed it on socials, we smuggled in the Stanaway on Friday night into our hide and seek. We did. Seems like three months ago. Clint, I'm so sorry we did that too. <laughs> it's Mate. Monday morning and we are still here. We're in a hole. No, no, no. It's okay. We're going to crawl out of We're it. We're not actually in a hole. Yeah, no. I'm going to. I just booked my Uber to pick right, me no. up. <laughs> I am crawling out of it. I'm out of here. I've had it. Okay, so... Um, I've had enough. Right. Look, we've been here for a thousand days. For anybody who has just Thousands. joined, God, I'd love to see her on Big Brother. Vote me out. I'm done. Imagine me on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. I would walk in and turn around and walk straight back out. I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. We haven't actually started the show. We're, Don't we're, care. We're, I want the free trip to Africa and that's it. But we're an hour away from filming. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Pack up no, the this kind of stuff is not for me. All right, so here's the go. <laughs> we have been in lockdown since last Thursday, uh, living... Breathing and broadcasting from a mystery location somewhere in Melbourne. The first person to find us, knock on the door and say, Jason Lauren, come out, come out, wherever you are, wins the money. You have no idea how happy I'm going to be to see that person. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> to give them. So, look, the cash is ticking away. The sooner you find us, the more you win, still Melbourne. Still a lot of money. Uh, and I thought we would be gone by now, but we are not. We are still here, but there is more, over $120,000 up for grabs. We're breathing the same air, and that air is just a little musty this morning, we I might say. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's starting to get a bit fez in here. Yeah, I just went to make a hydrolite just to, you know, stay hydrated. Yes. Uh, and it is like living in a 20-year-old bachelor pad. I'm drinking mm. it out of a mug because there are no glasses. <laughs> well, the um, the men's toilet has been leaking since Friday. That's repulsive. And you've got to basically tiptoe around the various puddles in there. Oh, yeah, you've got to be careful. Uh, do you've got to wear shoes. It's yeah, a shoe yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's a piss Otherwise feet. you get yeah. piss feet. There's yeah, two separate watery feet. There is two separate <laughs> toilets here. Um, just a peek behind the curtains for those who have been wondering about our lavatory situation, uh, which is probably absolutely none of you. Uh, but there is a men, a men's and a women's. Yeah. So yeah. I am feeling quite bougie. I've got my own lush you bathroom. Don't have, you don't have piss water on the floor. In, There's no piss no. puddles in the okay, lakes. Right, no. yeah, right. Well, you haven't lived. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to wear shoes. I think I actually stepped in it. Clint! (laughs) Clint, don't! Oh, no, he's got the socks on. He's carrying it everywhere. Uh, So, look. That's that's actually... (laughs) Don't swear. That might just be the thing that sends me. So... It might, that might have just been it. Wait, Lauren really wants to give away some bonus clues this morning I'm and get thro- the hell I'm out of here. I'm throwing them out every five minutes. No, she's going to give the address soon. <laughs> <laughs> we have your first official clue coming up at 8 o'clock this morning, but we have come up with an idea. I reckon at some point, Loz, you grab the cordless mic and go and open a door or a window. I'm going to go and stand out the front no, and no, say, no, Melbourne, no. I'm here. No, not that. No, just open a window or a door and a hold, window? The, hold the mic. What out. window? <laughs> There's no windows in this cave. And hold the mic outside and we hear the sounds. That's a good idea. If the mic's Melbourne, going out, it's... I'm going out with it. No, no. Oh, we haven't had fresh air since Thursday. Yeah. You were in such a good vibe last night. You went to bed, Clint. Lots and I stayed up. We played Uno. He wouldn't let Did me. You? Yeah. He, w- he wouldn't let me go to bed. <laughs> oh, just let me play. Just one game of Uno. Just one more game of Uno. I was like, dude, I'm sick of you. You're so annoying. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Who hey, won? Funny you ask. Uh, I won the first one, and he won the second one. Finally, it's taken him five days to beat me in Uno. So now I'm happy to leave. Until yeah. then, though. Yeah. Uh, so His here's the children go. were FaceTiming yesterday explaining <laughs> that he was an embarrassment to the family because he'd lost every game of Uno he'd played so far. Um, Just because he's lost the game of Uno? No, that didn't even come up, <laughs> to no. be honest. It's because he started this morning talking about piss feet. Hey, uh, <coughs> coming up this morning, Melbourne Whispers. This is our segment where we reveal all the juicy rumours going on around Melbourne and have we got some crackers to Ooh. share with you this morning. Also, Christian Petrarca is joining us. I can't wait to hear from him. See how he is going since Out of the ICU? Out, out of the hospital, I believe. Back at home. He's, um, eat the pasta. Had some terrible injuries. Yeah, eat the pasta track and the meat. Bowls and Mate, the... just like last time we were texting him and him saying he was in the ICU, just really hammered home, like mm. how severe the injuries were. Yeah. Uh, so look, uh, we're going to tough our track. We'll chat with track a little bit later on, and you know who else is coming up this morning? Oh, can I oh do it? Oh my gosh! Can I do it? Hang on, Clint's the one favorite. and only. We have been joking about this person for quite some time. Thinking haven't we, we'd Clint? never get a 
Now, thinking, did we even want her? And then we just fell in love with her. My gal, Nagi Mahashi is coming on. Oh Play the Spanish from music. From Recipe Tin Eats. Now, is she going to teach us how to cook in the camping kitchen we've got here? Nagi! So. Nagi Mahashi, I'm so excited. You know what we need to do? Like that old show, like Surprise Chef or whatever it was Aristos? called. Aristos? I reckon we, like, Clint, you grab a cordless mic and go to the little kitchenette. Sure, we tell it her would what, be my pleasure and honour. Whatever we have left in the fridge, we tell Nagi and she tells us what amazing roast or meal we can... Oh, we ain't making a roast, bro. <laughs> you don't know that? Yeah, I do. I'm certain of it. I've seen what's in that fridge. All right, let's get into it. We've got a fun morning coming up. We're going to try and make it even easier for you to win Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek. It is on, and so are we for Monday. We are doing Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek. We are hidden somewhere in a mystery location here in Melbourne. First one to find us wins the money. We're going to talk footy as well. How good was it having a weekend of just back-to-back games? Oh, you know what I loved? I loved spending my Sunday locked in this cave (laughs) watching Port Adelaide versus the Gold Coast Giants or whatever they're called. I was like, where else would I want to be on a Sunday than sitting here with you guys watching that? This is this is what it's like. You know to be what they did? Married to it, <laughs> a lucky ball. No, he doesn't lock me in the house. Well, the he lets first me one go. Didn't work. You know what they did? <laughs> <laughs> he basically did lock me in the house. <laughs> Look at the first ones going. Oh, enjoy hide and seek. <laughs> no, you know what they did? They put meat pies in the air fryer. Oh, they were that delicious. Was and they, they, were they were pov pies. They weren't the four no. and twenty. They tasted like gristle. I was like, this is just the uh, worst. patties. Yeah. Were they patties? No, yeah. oh. no, nah, they weren't. They no. were even worse. Had the air fryer up too long, so they looked like little erupted volcanoes. That all exploded, and oh, it was like molten lava in there. I bit into one and burnt my tongue, and I thought, my day just can't get any worse. Oh, no, it could. It did get worse. <laughs> it did, you know how it got worse? Because you guys pranked me and told me there was someone at the door, and I was that excited to oh get out of God. here. If you want to laugh for a Monday morning, <laughs> go to our socials, Jason Lauren on Instagram, and the video we've just posted to the grid oh, last no. night, Jeez. Lauren thought we'd been found. My and I God. was so excited to go home. Everyone runs to the studio and you run to the bathroom to do hair and makeup. Yeah, I, I went it. because I was lying down having to sleep with a face mask on at the also, time. what did you have to brush off your shirt? I'd been eating chips in bed before that, and then <laughs> I was like... Tanya. No, honey sweet chicken, because oh. I'm not an idiot. Hey, can I just say something? Okay. I think I'm actually quite... Good to live with, right? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Uh, Hang on, uh, hear me out. Okay, you can permission to finish the sentence. I do all the washing up. Like, like I'm, you I'm are, clean. You're clean. I, you're I clean. clean. You're clean. I am yeah, clean. Yeah. You're clean. Something I witnessed yesterday. Oh, we didn't the... do the washing up because I just had to have my hydrolite out of a mug because there is not a glass to be seen in this place. Where are they all? They're all half full of wine at the moment. <laughs> um, last night went to the bathroom and I'm like, ah. Oh. This is something my wife would absolutely blow up at me over mm. if I did this at home. In the men's toilets, Lauren, can you describe oh, that photo? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> yeah, that would blow up. It's an empty toilet roll on the holder with a toilet roll sitting above it. Why do you guys do that? Just replace it's it. Pretty, I don't do that. It's pretty easy to, it's, oh. yeah. it's pretty easy to fix. It no? is. You've like, got to remedy that situation. Like, just undo the empty roll. Throw that in the bin. That's one of the, the children. Other. It's one of life's great pleasures, starting a new role, instead of being stressed Isn't of how just, many sheets although are Although that first peel can be quite tricky. Once, yeah. You know, when you get the, yeah, the you double. Yeah, the double layer. Yeah, the double layer. Uh, well, you know what's been doing my head in, in here? There is one shower that we all share. Mm. Yeah. I, I have quite particular bath mat etiquette. Put oh, a mat yeah. down when you get in the shower and when you get out of the shower, Turn hang it up, up so it dries. So there's someone in here who is leaving the soggy wet bath mat oh, screwed up no. on the floor in front of the shower I didn't and it's do a soaking. Bath mat. I, and then there's some people it? who are raw dogging it and just leaving water. Puddles. No, no, no. All over the bathroom. I dry in the shower. Do you? Oh, that's Where do you shake like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> where, where do you stash your towel? You take it in with you? No, no, I just have it hanging on the little like oh. thing outside. So who's like, the animal who's just raw dogging it on the floor and sli- like on a slip and slide? Probably I the same in filthy and animal that's just putting the full toilet yeah. roll on. I nearly ate it. I'd walked in and nearly put my back out, slipping over, and then I was in socks because I hadn't got into the shower yet, and then my socks were soggy. Well, it's not me because I haven't showered. That's a problem. <laughs> You know the this other morning thing? or the whole time? No, I shower late morning because the, the hot water runs yeah. out. Yeah, so it does I go run for, out. I go, yeah. for a, I go for a king shower. You know, a I had later. a cold oh, shower yesterday. That's my strat. King mm. shower. I Living. had a cold shower yesterday in the morning before the show. So today, Jace got out of the shower and I was like, 
I want to put a sign on the door saying, I'm Lauren's in next, but she's waiting 10 minutes for the water to oh, heat Oh, that's up. all right. That's, you're allowed to do that. I, but it was like crunch time before the show, and I thought, I can't do that. Yeah, you can. And I just had to risk it if someone got in no, before me. you have to broadcast. You're allowed to put a sign I up. need to be clean. Absolutely. Must be clean and also, happy. Also, while I'm on I've it. I've got one. Oh, you've got, I got oh, another I've one I've got too. 50. <laughs> Here you go. No, no, no. People who don't uh, wash the uh, toothpaste Spit out of the sink. sink. Oh, yes. There was remnants of toothpaste spit in the sink this morning when I went to do my chompers. Well, someone had seen toothpaste. And it didn't sit very well with me. On the, on the bench. What do you mean? Yes. In the shower. Who did that? Someone had put toothpaste on their toothbrush and, left it there. and then left it sitting oh. there. So then it's fallen over. No, and then the other right. one, when I was doing the washing up, I noticed someone had washed something before me, but they've left the food in the in sink. The sink. Did and that I've happen got, just uh, then? I thought it was you from your no, eggs. No, no. Did you make eggs this morning? I did not make eggs this morning. Did anyone? I'm doing no. a pork roast. Does anyone? And also, soon. we've got like an espresso coffee machine in here. Yeah. You, em- we you empty and clean the milk thing winching? after you've used it. Yeah. Because yeah. I just went and I was like, there's this off milk sitting oh, in the no, frother. You can't have Apart that. from all that, it's been lovely. But we're perfect. Does anyone from the behind <laughs> the scenes team want to vent about us? Well, unfortunately, we Speak are. Speak now. Out of time. Oh, no, we're perfect. Uh, so here's the go. A lot of people out looking nice and early for us this morning. 13, 20, 14. Oh, just look harder, would you? <laughs> look harder and look faster. Hey, here's a peek behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, it gets to 6 o'clock, so we lock the doors mm. at 6, right? The game hours are from 6 till 6. And producer Brody goes, oh, I've just got a text from this listener saying, she's trying to find us, she's looking everywhere, and like, <laughs> spins around just at fast pace and goes, well, she's not looking effing hard enough. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, mum's ready to Seriously. go home. I'm about to, um, I'm going to sort of flare off the roof in a minute. <laughs> An e fireworks. 13, 20, 4, 10 is our number to join us on the air. It is Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek, and it's still on, Melbourne. I'm gonna find you. Massive weekend in footy. We're going to chat about that in a sec. First, though, we are live from a secret location. We are doing Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek. Your chance to win just shy of $120,000 is the current tally. Phone lines have lit up this morning. People are out seeking already. Let's go to St Kilda. G'day, Mary. Mary, good morning. Good morning, guys. I am so buzzed. We think we know who you are. Oh, my gosh. Come and get us, Mary. Please yes. come and get us out Don't of here. Don't sound so God. You've Mary. done my head in all weekend. I rang in six this morning. I've even given you a fake name because... <laughs> I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> Have you taken well, the day I, off? I've taken the day off. I rang in sick. I'm going oh, to collect my good job. Good There's good two job, of us Mary. coming, and you're getting released because I know you went to the Rose Center yesterday. So where are you going All now? Right. Where are you heading, Mary? I can't bloody tell you, lads. Yes. Give us a, give us a no, little... No, she wants to get there first. No, no. Little hint. Little okay. clue. Clue, clue. She needs the I money. Need Oh, okay. okay, Mary Lucky the Irish. Mary, come and get us. Mary sounds like a vibe. That's the energy yeah. I need in my life this morning. Come and get us, Mary. Didn't really understand much, to be honest. Uh, Quinn. To be sure, to be sure. 13, 24, 10. Whereabouts are you heading? Yeah, mate. I am currently at the front of Frankston. Uh, Quinn. Uh, Quinn. 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 Young, Quinn. silly, silly little man. Quinn, yesterday we gave a clue. We put it on our socials and we set it on air. We are within 18 kilometres of Chadston. Correct. So Frankston's about yeah. 30 kilometres from Chadston. Yeah, you, you Google Maps are off there, mate. Remember, if you missed any of the clues, you can go to our Jason Lawrence socials. We put them all up there for we you. Have. So you can recap the clues. We've got a brand new one coming up for you at 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> broken Quinn's heart on air. Oh, Quinn. No, <laughs> Quinn, I'm are you okay, to... bro? Sorry, Quinn. Oh, I'm heartbroken. Oh, oh Quinn. <laughs> I mean... Hang around. The, the tourist centre in Frankston, oh, the very, art centre, it's, it's very strong. Very strong. Good very, art out there. Uh, Great art. Yeah. Have you driven... Do you live near Frankston? No, I don't. Not at all. Oh, oh, oh Queen. Queen. Well, Where, you're going to love the art centre. Where right? have you driven from? <laughs> I drove from one turn this morning. Oh, oh that's a oh, Queen. Oh, East Link is moving very well this morning. Oh, Quinn, I'm so sorry. You've got to jump online and check out the clues. Within 18 kilometres of Chadston. We ruled out a large part of Melbourne yesterday with that clue. Including the Frankston Arts Centre. Yeah. All right, it's Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek. Come and get us and win the money. I've never watched so much footy in my life as I have since we've been here in hide and seek. It's been good, hasn't it? Oh, mate, the pies game. Oh, my God. Did that? What happened? That, you know what happened? 
exactly what I said would happen. Oh, well, okay. No, no, no. I f- forgot to turn up. On Friday, I said, don't be complacent against North Melbourne How because they're bottom North of the Melbourne ladder. a bit of credit? North they Melbourne started like good. a bullet a gate. Yeah, they did. Yeah, the Roos were on fire. They kicked, what, seven or eight goals in the first quarter? They were just quick. They, they brought the pressure. They, they brought did. all the pressure, and in Braden Maynard's 200th, the Magpies slowly but surely wore the Roos down. It was a great contest, though. So right down to the wire, too. Like, the last minute, uh, the Roos had a shot at goal and just missed. Otherwise, oh, no. oh, mm. I... Uh, I had a few beers in me watching the game here. So I got, on, I got on the text to Mason to pass some thoughts on oh, it. Oh, yeah. Half he wasn't time. there. He was watching from home. Thank God. Thank God. But he agreed with me. Did yeah, he? but I also yeah. don't think he would have repeated what you'd said. Yeah, right. You're yeah. lucky to lucky to win it in the end. There was a very controversial, well, it wasn't paid in the end, a 50-metre penalty, which yeah. should have been paid, in my opinion. Was there? Yeah, so... Um, what about my Tigers? Dusty played his 300th. Gorgeous Good on him. Dusty. Got a goal away nice and early, too. We didn't get the win. This was the moment for a Dusty Martin. Take a listen. <laughs> The opener for the game. Like, oh, what a moment. What a moment. What about the kids getting dusty haircuts? I know. They had a barber set up. And the G. really cool. If you go on to uh, the Richmond Socials, they got all the members. Called kids, Dusty. Yeah, who were named after the great man to do a big photo with Dusty. It was so cute, that little video. I'm Dusty. Hi, I'm Dusty. Do you know my favourite AFL moment of the weekend? Melbourne didn't lose. Well done, Dees. <laughs> because we didn't play. We had the bye. Oh, there you go. <laughs> We'll be chatting to Christian Petrarca a little later on as well, getting an update from him on how he's going. I love how Loz congratulated you on like, the win. I was like going to say, who'd they play again, Loz? Well done. Well done. <laughs> rah, rah. Rah, rah. Go D's. No, they're all in Noosa. They uh, are. All they're the D's break. fans are in Noosa and all the D's players are in Noosa. All the snow. Coxie's flying out to Bali as well. Is he? Yeah. Uh, today, I'm pretty sure. Where he's going he? away for a couple of days. Little Motel Mexicola. That's a big man for a moped. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Big man, mm. little bike. Yep. This is Nova 100. You're on the air with Jace and Lauren today. I don't have a window, so I've got no idea what the weather is. But uh, I'll, ch- I'll check the bomb. Check the know. bomb. We're checking the bomb. Please stand by, everyone. Uh, currently 8.2, but feels like 7.2. Ooh. Celebrating Christmas in July with Frosted, a winter spectacular. Tickets are on sale now from Ticketmaster. Jason Lauren's Snag a Snowman. I've always, for many, many years, wanted to do... A white Christmas in New York. <gasps> I did it one year with my family. It was, was it like in Home Alone? Well, yeah, because our whole family went. My my mum, my dad, my auntie, uncle, cousins, grandparents. That's cool. It was a whole, whole community. Did it snow? Because people it tell snowed. me sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't always snow. We were very Day. lucky. It snowed on Christmas oh, Day and it snowed awesome. on New Year's Eve. Did you go to that toy shop in Home Alone too? We did. The the one with the big piano? Yeah. No, I, that's, in, that's in big. Oh. Which one? The one that the robbers tried to break into in Home Alone. Was it, 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 oh, it's fine. that's probably just fantasy. Was, what was the piano like in Big? Yeah, it's, it, you got to just wait to take your turn. I didn't do it. Oh, no, that's real weird. H- what's it called? W.H. Schwartz, Schwartz or something. That's the big famous know. toy shop in New York. I was more thinking Toys R Us. I've um, checked out of this conversation. Hey, uh, <laughs> I've checked out of this whole show. <laughs> Winter Wonderland is coming to Melbourne. You can celebrate <laughs> Christmas in July. Is it Christmas if we've been here that long? <laughs> no. <laughs> Celebrate Christmas oh. in July with Frosted, a winter spectacular. Tickets are on sale now from Ticketmaster. How this works... Is, in July? is it July already? At the end of the week, we are going to be chucking a whole bunch of Nova listeners in a giant ball pit, and they have to snag the snowman. Oh, snag a snowman. First person to find the snowman hidden in the ball pit. What do they win, Jace? $5,000, Lauren. That would be nice. And our first person we are throwing in the pit is... Who we got there, Jace? Nisha from Elstonwick. Good morning. Nisha. Woo! Get me in that pit. <laughs> Are you ready to snag a, snag a snowman? I am so ready to grab a snowman. Get me oh, in there. Yeah. <laughs> grab a snowman, girl. Well, you are in the pit come Friday, okay? Congrats. Yay! Five grand. That'd be nice. Oh, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, congratulations. Um, and Indeed. good luck. Good luck. We'll yeah. chat to you on Friday. Hey, if you want to uh, go on the running and get yourself in the pit, all you have to do is register via the Nova Player app or go to novafm.com.au is the place so what, to go. What is it a pit of what? Pit it's of a ball pit. Ball pit. Pythons. Oh. 
Great. There's no scorpions, that sort of thing. That. Yeah. There's oh, no, no pythons. No, no, just got told. Yeah, no, no to the snakes. We're going with uh, like a ball pit. Oh, a okay. ball pit. Yep, something more fun. Hey, guys, coming up next. You want to have an intervention? I think if someone did this in a normal workplace around Melbourne, they would be ridiculed and run out of town. Oh, so it's time to ridicule and run out of town. Can you run town me out of town? No, sorry. Is it me? No one has Kick been running out. No one... Kick me no. out. Let me go home. Kick me Someone out. Someone on this team has been doing something which I know has annoyed all three of us. Yeah. And an intervention is coming their way next on Nova. Now, guys, we are live from a mystery location. We're doing our um, hide and seek. We are. So first person to find us in Melbourne wins the money. The current tally... $117,000. faster you find us, the more cash you win. That's right. And all the clues are on our socials. Now... We're starting to get on each other's nerves. More clues dropping soon. Are we getting on I'm, your nerves? I'm going to start dropping clues. She's so, going to go rogue. I'm going rogue. Um, I'm going to help you, Melbourne. We, we're, I'm going to help you help me. We're all living <laughs> in a quite confined space. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and for some of us, uh, they're new to the team. We have a lovely gentleman by the name of Franco. Franco, Franco, um, come on, come on in, Franco. For a you've been summonsed. Um, so Franco is doing all our videos from in here. Franco's um, like, why are you dragging me? In? He's walked in like, uh, come on. I had a feeling it'd be me, but I go, I've got no idea what I've done. <sighs> Franco, there's something that I don't think I don't think people should do in a workplace <laughs> or just a communal environment. Oh no. I've never lived in a share house. Who do you live with? I live with my wife. Right. You've never done a share my house? Wife. My only, wife. I've only lived with my parents, by myself, and with her. That's it. He looks so scared right now. What have I done? Well, what do you think you've yeah, done? Yeah, what do you what think, do you think, think it you've is? Done? Uh, I took a shower after everyone went to bed last night. I no, hope I didn't wake no, anyone up. No, 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 no. no, no. no you can t- shower whenever you want. Whenever you like. Anything else? I bet you'd like to be showering right now. Hygiene's great. Hygiene's we love up hygiene. there with us. Okay, so it's not hygiene. I don't know. What is it? What hygiene's, have I done? hygiene's okay. He looks so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's Franco, when your wife rings. Wait, first question. Is your phone broken or is it in full working order? My phone works. It's in full working order. Okay. All right. Well, then there's no excuse. <laughs> oh. When your wife rings, or anybody for that matter. Has the penny dropped? What do you do? I just answer it in front of everyone. On? Um, well, if I get a FaceTime, it's usually yeah, out loud. And if it's not a FaceTime, <laughs> it's just a normal call, you answer it on? Speaker. Do I? <laughs> Every time? Every single time. I don't like holding my phone up to my ear. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was during the footy yesterday when you took a call on, on speakerphone when Jace was trying to watch the footy that absolutely sent you. Like, hey, babe, yep, we're all doing well. Yep. And, like, and like, we feel awkward because we're like, should we be listening to the should others? We, should like, we leave? Oh, that's his wife. Yeah, should we leave? Like, we can't. We're, we're in hot seat. Of, he didn't scurry away to a bedroom or to a... No, no not he at just, all. I don't just, even think he knew he was doing it. No. In fact, the only time you left while on the call was to get food. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I, I live with my wife, so whenever wife. someone whenever someone calls, you know, she might want to have a chat too. Oh, oh. whether so, she likes it or not. Oh, so we should join in the conversation. Yeah, oh, you guys, so, are, you guys are welcome to say hey to my parents or whoever's calling. Oh, me. so it's actually on us. We're not oh, engaging we're being in the conversation. We're being rude. Okay. Sorry. All right, well, we should have what you. you wish for. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. Also, I mean, we only spoke about this last week on the show. When you answer a speaker call, you need to let that person know. They're on speakerphone. Go, yeah. doll, you're on speaker. What if Just... she said something sexy to you in front oh, of us yes. all? Or the other oh, way. That hey, probably is... wouldn't happen. <laughs> it, are Lauren and Jay still being high maintenance? Are you hating it? Are you yeah, thinking you of the money? Them? Oh, you're on speaker, babe. Hi, guys. She's I, been very polite. I think my wife knows I answer on speaker. Oh, you do? So you know you're guilty of it. Yeah. Well, his, his wife does. That's the issue. Oh. <sighs> Good for you. Sorry, it's not guys. all bad. It's not all bad. You, you know. You're We're a great gonna, person to have around the place. I'm yeah, going to practice you, putting my yeah. phone to my ear Until now. someone rings. <laughs> <laughs> I actually answer my desk phone maybe, at Channel 9 on Maybe loudspeaker. you should get um, one of those headsets, you know, like the, the Bluetooth oh, yeah. earpiece. Oh, look like a real estate agent yeah, on the yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, you have that. to put your phone up to your ear. Yeah, I'll invest in one of them. We'll thank get cool. you one as a thank you. Yeah, thank you. Give you some AirPods. <laughs> you know that yep. you, you tap it on the ear to answer. All right, Thanks. it's coming up. Do you want to apologise? Y- yeah, I'm sorry for that. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. My favourite bit was when you go, what do you think you've done? I'm like, this could be anything. <laughs> All right, coming up to 7 o'clock, we're going to check your run to work latest in news, and then we've got another trip a day to give oh, away. Surely we're giving away clues.
We are still broadcasting from a mystery location. We're doing our hide and seek. First person to find us wins just shy of $120,000. But the clock is ticking. The quicker you find us, more money you win. The Get clock is quick. ticking. Please. <clears throat> Bayless. I've, ha- I've had enough. I've been here for what feels like months. I want to help. Melbourne help us, actually. I'm going to start. You've definitely woken up in a get me out of here. In a yeah. mood. In a mood. In a mood, yeah. I'm not, I don't think I'm in a bad mood. No, 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 no. We didn't say you're in a bad mood. But if I'm here this time tomorrow, we feel filthy. I'll be in a bad You want to say bad <laughs> mood? start throwing things. You'll say one. Including a wobbly. <laughs> I'm going to start ruling out suburbs. In, Paul, in Paul, your partner's a lucky man. Hey, I'll tell you. Well, who... he doesn't lock me in the house. Okay. I didn't lock you in the house either. Now I'm in a mood. <laughs> Over especially... to you, Clint. <laughs> Paul, I've been here so long Paul doesn't lock me in the house no, like I'm locked in here, that's the problem I've had no fresh air for five days And I'm surrounded by five men I reckon Some people like that sort of thing No, not me I reckon Not when you're one of the men <laughs> Lauren, I want to talk smooches um, A smooch between AFL player and broadcaster has ignited a little bit of a debate. I'm talking about oh, God, Lockie Neal of the Brisbane Lions and Channel 7 presenter Abby Holmes, who does a beautiful job um, with all her interviews and boundary writing. Now, basically, post-match, she interviewed Lockie Neal after the win over the Doggies. It didn't actually attract too much attention at the time, but when she what finished happened? the interview... They said goodbye. They said goodbye, and she and went, went to give each other a, little, a hug. A little kiss on the on did the. Did she cheek. or did he? Wow! It doesn't it was, matter. Who cares? They know each other. They're, they must. They're friends. Now the no issue, one was uncomfortable. Who took issue with this? Oh, Lee some Matthews miserable old has man, a, probably. Lee Matthews has a bee in his bonnet. That's because no one wants to throw one on his <laughs> cheek. That's why. <laughs> why? Lee What's Matthews the issue? being the uh, premiership winning coach of the Brisbane yeah. Lions yeah. from many years ago. Um, he's quoted on in various forms of the media by saying, because normally you only give a kiss on the cheek to someone you know quite well, otherwise you shake their hands. Does he oh, know their relationship? Lee Matthews is the friendship police. How does he know that they're not great Also, friends? think about this, right? Say if you were in Abby's position, Loz, wouldn't you rather a kiss on the cheek than a hug when he's covered in sweat? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. He said, is it a first? I've never seen it before. Have you ever seen it? That's why we're talking about it. It's quite an unusual one. Well... Kate Halfpenny from The Age has also said that it was not appropriate. Sounds like what another person say? that's not getting any. She says, even if they're besties forever, when they're both at work, is it a good look to be saying hasta manana with a kiss? For me, it was What's too familiar. Manana? I think, like, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Place and time, people. You're drawing away from this chat, so keep it classy, San Diego. Oh, calm down, oh, come on, Kate. What? Come on, Kate. Now, look, in sa- look hey, I don't have anything wrong with the kiss, right? But in saying that, I do think there are certain people in our life that can do – it can be a bit over the top with the kiss and the hug. No, I'm a hugger. Oh, I'm a hugger. I'm a bit of both. But yeah, like, you're a hugger. But yeah. like you're, – You're a hugger. You, you're moody. Sometimes you want to hug and sometimes you're like, get away from me. No, no, but just, you know, like so, there's those people that when you see them, like you haven't caught up in a while or they, it might be a week between visits and they just come in strong with the kiss. <laughs> week between visits. <laughs> and I and I always stuff up with like, because um, I know some cultures, they do the double yeah. kiss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of times I've gone for a double kiss yeah. and they've only done the single yeah. one. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, when you're out of sync with the greeting, like what about the other day um, oh. Lockie Hume was in, you know, gorgeous oh. Lockie Hume, the actor. He came in oh, to talk about Clint. Mad Max and he is lovely and I would happily take a hug and a kiss from him any time. Uh, anyway, we gave each other a hug goodbye, but he's, he's so much taller than me. So we sort of did the half hug where our arms were each around each oh other. And then I went in for the full, like, bear hug. And as I did that, he went in for a kiss on the cheek and he ended up just kissing me on the top of the head. And mm. she had her, like, head like my- nestled between his chest. It looks like he was <laughs> breastfeeding her. <laughs> oh, geez. well, um, That would be inappropriate. I've starred in this movie before with uh, former world tennis number one Serena Williams. Oh. We were doing a sit-down interview. Uh, for burly bras, basically. Right. <laughs> so behind me well, was why just was she interviewing a wall you about what bra of bras. No, nah, that was the uh, the sponsor, I guess. Oh, That's right. how we got the interview. And same thing. I walked into <laughs> the room, or she walked into the room, and I thought she was going for a hug, mm. but she was actually going for a kiss. Oh. And I kissed her on her ear. <laughs> oh no! Do you have a nibble? Do you know nip. what I do? I like um, that's a handshake job, I reckon. Oh, with Serena Maybe Williams. Serena Williams. Absolutely. In it a, might be a was fist, she wearing just her bra? Pump. 
Yeah, she was actually. She was just in the belly in, bra. In the bra with the, uh, the <laughs> brassiere with the white crisp uh, top over the... The so word yeah, but- brassiere is disgusting. <laughs> Can you never say that again? Brassiere. In a brassiere. How they got you to do that interview when it was sponsored <laughs> by them is beyond me. Keita Alexander, who played um, Nova's Red Room the other week, you know her lot. So yeah. when she came in, she gave you a big kiss and a hug. Yeah. I, as I walked... From behind the panel in the studio, I, I almost have my arm out in front of me ready for a Firm handshake. handshake. Otherwise, you just don't. Yeah. Like, what yeah. happened? Did you kiss her hand? <laughs> Did she hug you? She grabbed my hand and kissed it like the Royals. It was very Did awkward. she hug you? Yeah, she gave us a yeah, hug. Yeah, she's a hugger. 13, 20, 4, 10. Is there someone in your life, might be a family member, might be a workmate, <laughs> might be a boss, uh, who just goes a little OTT with the hug and the kiss? Our boss... Sarah, well, we have many bosses. We have oh, many tiers of bosses. Sarah, Sarah is bosses. a big hugger, and oh, I love that. Yeah. But BT is a hugger. He'll give me a hug when he comes. I think I get a kiss on yes, the cheek from him. Yes, I get a him. hug. For actually, yeah, all yeah, upper yeah. management are huggers. What about the big bosses? I'm yet, I'm yet to get a kiss from the CEO. You know what? Next time Have I see the, I don't know. Next time I see the CEO, I'm just going to run in and do that dirty dancing thing where you oh, launch yeah, for a hug. Yeah. Yeah. There's, like like a, there's like a level of respect where you don't, don't put go Jason for a hug, in the corner. I reckon. Yeah. Stretch up, Peter, because I'm coming for you. 13 20, 4, 10 <laughs> is our number. <laughs> Peter's going to need the He's Cairo. probably listening to this. I'm I sure be, that's what he's doing. I want to be morning. airlifted, Pete. <laughs> He's going to come in for a group hug next time he's in the office. 13, 20, 4, 10. Do you know (laughs) someone in your life who's just a bit over the top with the kiss and the hug? We are asking you, do you have someone who is an awkward greeter in your life? Someone that, you know, you think you should just be doing a handshake with, but they go for a big smooch on the cheek. Someone who, who does something that you don't deem is the right thing to do in a certain place. Like Kate from Q, do you have an awkward encounter with the school mums? Good morning, team. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Is it Monday? <laughs> We're not sure what day it is, Kate. <laughs> Monday. We had this discussion at the school gate at, uh, for pickup the other day. Yep. Um, you stand around waiting. Is it tennis lessons? Do I need library bags tomorrow? No kids. Just chat, polite, lovely yes, friends. Yes, yes, But yes. then we went out for dinner on the Saturday night. Yep. And then at the end of the night, having a kiss, thanks for a lovely night. We'll see you soon. But then when you go back to school on Monday... Now you've set the precedence of a kiss on the cheek and a oh, hug. So you're kissing now. Do you go back to it when no, you're standing no. there in your active wear? No. Or is it only when you're dressed up with a bit of lippy on? Yeah. Only when you're dressed up in a like out environment. I think when you're back doing school pickup, like I don't want to be doing school pickup having to do a kiss and a cuddle. It's with very it. confusing. Though. Every because you see those people every, every day. day. I look like a politician. That's the difference. I think. That's a real great like, area. We were talking about our boss being a hugger, but that's because we only see her once a week. So mm. it's like hi. What about his one? If for I you? saw her every day, I wouldn't be giving her a smooch. What about day? like an over the top thank you? Like we've got a lovely gentleman by the name of John who works at Nova who mm. organises things. And he organised our couch. Him? No, he organised our couch. <laughs> John's for us. not a kisser. And remember, I was like, John, I love the couch, and I went in to hug him. He just stood and he there. backed away. No, 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 like, I don't sit on him. It, no. I think it depends how much you see the people. Like we walk in at five o'clock every morning, and we just grunt at each other these days. Mm. Like even in here, I didn't even think I said good morning to everyone when I rolled out of bed this morning. No, I was just you like, didn't. Mm. Yeah. How long should you hold a hug? I think a good three minutes. <laughs> A because lingering hug. I a love linger, a lingering hug. If you're lingering, oh, you just yeah. get off me. Yeah. Nothing worse. Person's just standing oh. there with their arms down by their side like a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> 132410 to join us on the air. Do you know a over-the-top hugger or kisser? Ez, good morning. Morning. How are you guys? We're we are good. good. What are you? What's your stance on hugging and kissing and sh- handshaking? No, I am not for a hug. I am not for a handshake. I am the awkward person that will stand there with my arms by my side if you go to hug me. Good on you. Maybe you should bring in the high-fiving into your repertoire. No, I'm sorry. Morning and just a high-five. Anyone over 18 shouldn't be high-fiving. I think we should bring back the high-five. What about during COVID when we all did the elbow? Oh, Oh, the the elbow. elbow. Remember the elbow? Oh, our EP just walked in and kissed Clint on the cheek. Did you enjoy that? We just woke up. Morning, Brody. Was it nice? <laughs> Was it nice? I've got to be a stubble at the moment. The elbow yeah. really oh. rattled me. The elbow. Co- remember this one, Clint? Oh. Morning. I, I, remember I, I, when ScoMo came in and he elbowed oh, us all? And oh. I was like, just don't. Mate, I'd rather get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it is right on 7.30. We'll check your run to work latest in news and a bit of a surprise <gasps> from inside hide and seek. Next. We are hidden somewhere in Melbourne. Are people still out searching for us this morning? They are indeed. Actually, just quickly before we go to the phone, some people have doubted that we're actually here overnight. Oh, really? Like, um, we, no one comes in 
No one goes out. Lock, stock, and barrel. We all are the meals. Here. A massive thank you to Dynamic. They have hooked us up with all our little microwave meals. I'm just currently hitting up a Musselman curry. Of course you are. That is so random. Yeah. What? For breakfast. I prefer bigger meals in the AM. But okay. it's the it's the richness and the smell and the for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with it. Can you not eat it in this little? Can you eat it in the kitchen? Yes, I can eat it. What in does the, the spice do to your stomach? No, fine. I, better in the morning than at night. Um, also, uh, we're no, definitely sleeping here. I can guarantee you that. I've n- been on an air mattress for one four hundred nights now. How's your back? Actually, oh, it's quite nice. I'm quite enjoying the air mattress. Yeah. Sorry, I sorry, guys. Sorry, to, so, sorry to cut you off, Lauren. Is it? We've just been told someone. Did we get an alert at the door? We're going to alert at the door. Oh. Producer Brody, are you near the door? I am. Someone has arrived. Got sweaty palms. Someone's arrived. Someone's arrived. <gasps> are we getting out of here? Hello, we- hello. Hello? Hello? Coffee time. <laughs> Who's that? That's, that sounds like my dad. Is that John Stanaway? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it John Stanaway? Could be. Did you sneak in? Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, gang. Where is he? We We snuck in Clint's dad with coffees. (laughs) Is he bringing coffees? Real coffees in a takeaway cup from a barista? Don't do this to me. If this is a joke again, I'm going to... Pull back the curtain. Johnny! Get your voices down. How Johnny! Are How are we all? You are the only person in Melbourne that we have snuck in to hide and seek. That's you, great. That means you are the only person so we can trust. Now. Oh, oh you yeah. Where's my bed? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Be very careful. Thank you so much. Be very careful revealing too many details or anything. Oh, look, but, you know me. Are you impressed with our living arrangements? That's very nice. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Um, how did you find us? Let me guess. Your son texted you and said, hey, can we have coffees? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy the text. Clint, Clint, My phone is... is being thrown out. The, no, not out the window. Clint? No, it's not there either. <laughs> I have never been prouder of you. Oh, Thank you so much. Well, here. Oh, yeah. Thank All right. you. you got to get out. you got to get out. Go Sorry, on. I love you. Here you go. Here's some money. I don't want any money. No, 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 no. no. Let's, let's let him leave at some point. Oh, okay. Don't leave right. now. Don't leave right now because people will be watching. Enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John yeah. O'Stanaway, I've, oh. I've never been happier to see you. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Welcome to the team, John. Does that mean that's he wins great. the cash? No, no, he doesn't yeah. win the cash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congratulations. No, yeah. <laughs> Does that mean we can go home? No, no, no. Game is still on, Mel. The game is still on. People are still out searching. In fact... 13 24 10 is our number. Natasha in Caulfield, you have gone to ex- extreme lengths, haven't you? <laughs> I have, yes. Good morning, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. I believe you have got a babysitter for the day so someone can look after the kids. Yes, and... so I've, I've organised for my kids to get to school without me so that I can <laughs> come and find you. <laughs> what part of Melbourne are you looking in, Natasha? So, um,. I'm coming to St. Uh, no, well, St. Kilda area. The um, St. Kilda area, right? Yeah. Yep. Yesterday I did like Moorabbin, um, Tapson, Waverley Road, all around oh. there. Because um, we, we have said we are within 18 k's from Chadston. I'm, I'm going to yeah. just say right now, I'm going to rule out some suburbs. Oh, oh God. Yes, oh, yes. God. Yes. oh, God. Okay, well, we're not Come on, in Lossie. Chadston, the suburb. No. We're not yes. in Chadston. You think we're in St Kilda. Is that right, Natasha? Yeah, and if you if you do 18 k from Chadston, St Kilda falls within the circle. Okay. But you're from Caulfield, right? Yeah. We're not in Caulfield. Oh, God. You're not. Oh, that's a and you're not in Caulfield, okay. Okay. Caulfield race course because the security no. guard told me I was the 30th person to go there. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in Caulfield race course. We, in fact, we're not in Caulfield, the suburb. We are not in Chadston, the okay, suburb. Okay, okay. The suburb we are in, no, no, Melbourne. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We're not there yet. <laughs> Let's go to Ashley from Point Cook. Ash, you're out Hello. searching as well. I think you guys are at Luna Park. Luna oh, Park. Luna Park. So that's well, that our second caller, second caller who is in St Kilda looking for us at the moment. That does look like well, Clint Stanaway, that face, doesn't no. it? <laughs> why like why are you teeth? thinking Luna Park? Well, because the sunshine west yeah. and all eyes are on us. It's got the face with the yes. eyes. Yes. Mm, okay. okay. All right. All right, Ashley. See if you can find us. Please find us. Please knock on a door and get me out of here. Okay. $114,347. The search is on this morning. The quicker you find us, the more money you win. 
Coming up next, so oh, remember if you missed any of the clues, they're all our socials as yeah. well. Yeah, and just Rolling stay listening clues. to the show because I'm gonna rule out a suburb <laughs> every time I'm on the radio. Oh my god! Um, coming up next, guys, Melbourne whispers. This is where every week the fine mm. listeners of this show ring us with the juicy rumours they've heard around Melbourne. There has been some absolute crackers that we've heard on Melbourne Whispers that have come true only weeks How later. Okay, I And know. we've got some crackers sitting in our inbox as well. We will go there right after Taylor. Right across Melbourne, this is Nova 100. <laughs> hey, right now, though, 13, 24, 10, it's time for Melbourne Whispers. If you are sitting on a juicy little rumour, something going on around Melbourne. Little nugget. Little mm. nugget. Get in touch. 13 24 10 is our number. Shall we go to the phone and see what we got this week? Yeah. We shall. Let's go to Jack from Mount Eliza. Good morning. Have you heard a little rumour on the street? I have, guys. Hey, how you going? We are oh, good, Jack. I've been boy. better, Jack, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you got for well, us? This, it, this is nearly as good as done. It's like pretty much locked in without being locked in. Yeah. But <laughs> Bailey Smith, Bailey yeah. Smith is going to the pies. The pies. Is he the, the cotton on? Yeah, he's the body. mullet. We'll the, take him. Yeah, handsome. Oh. Um, see, my ma- see, Jack, my mail a few weeks back was that he was going to go to Geelong. But that's well, off the table, like that is it? Because I'm a catch man, but oh. no, it's pretty much locked in that he's going to Collingwood. It's locked in without being locked in, if you know what he means. It's pretty much Absolutely. locked in. Who would that mean? Who would that mean? They'd have to get rid of a few. Yeah. Where's room. the space come from? Because what position does he normally play? Well, he's sort of just a just a basically midfield gun, bit of a boss on the, on the ball. Is yeah, that right. He just follows yeah. it. Right? Mm. Well, well, it's more the money, though. I mean, he wouldn't be cheap. He wouldn't be cheap. You're right. Someone's got to go for him to come in. As a Pies fan, we will take him. You will take him. Anyone would take him, wouldn't they? Yeah, well, we almost named him on the weekend, let me tell you. All right, Sarah from Doncaster, have you heard a rumour floating around Melbourne? I definitely have. I've got sources in the entertainment industry that oh, tell me sources. a very large friend is coming to Melbourne to film her next movie. A very a large, large friend. friend. What does that mean? Very Lisa big Kudrow. friend. Like no. the Jennifer, oh, Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston is coming to Melbourne. I to love do what? Jennifer Aniston. To film her next movie. Maybe she's shooting Morning Wars on uh, the Today Show set. Speaking of awkward encounters, I went to a dinner party she was at in uh, in LA last what? Christmas when we were over there. How many people at the when, dinner party? Uh, 14. Oh, so quite friends intimate. With a friend of mine. And um, oh, you should have seen how awkward I was. I was like, don't call her Rachel. Oh, don't oh call her Rachel. my God. Well, well, I, was, shake hands. I just went, hi. <laughs> What, what, what was Did the you hug or kiss? We had a hug. Oh, you hugged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, we talk about lingering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I sat myself at the opposite end of the table because mm. I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to embarrass myself. Imagine if Lauren like they had say the never ox meet court. your heroes. <laughs> Lauren had the ox cord and she put on the friends thing. I'll be there for hey, Jen, you. How many claps were there in that oh, song? Oh my god! <laughs> Maybe Jen's out here for neighbours. Maybe she's doing no. a cameo. No, I doubt no, that. No, I don't much. think so. Ah. Misha Barton did that, didn't she? Was she yeah. nice? Did you talk? So you know? nice. So lovely. She seems lovely. Yeah, and then I had about 97 champagnes and tried to have a conversation oh, after no. dinner, oh, and I was like, God. I'm going to let myself out of here. Greg in Altona, welcome to Melbourne Whispers. What juicy room are you sitting on? Oh, Aaron from Morello. There we go. Oh, no, Greg, no, we got you there. Sorry, Greg, Greg, start again. Go from the top. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> good morning, legend. Morning, um, Greg. I've heard from a reliable source. The big man, Teddy Swims, is performing an exclusive show in a few weeks. Well, he's out here on his tour. Do you I mean his concert Teddy or like swim. a side show? Like a side show, exclusive show. Mm. Uh, I love it when big artists come out and do little pop-up shows. Oh. A lot of the big stars used to do that. Mm. They do like a little pop-up at Chapel Off Chapel or at like... Who was recently out here because there was well, some Fred rich, rich Turak Fred mansion again? was hosting a party? Oh, that's right, for the Prats. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was it was Katy Perry? It? Yeah, yes, Katy Perry. Yeah, Katy Perry. Yeah, but no one Didn't she charge like three mil? Yeah, yeah, yeah she charged a fair bit. Something like but, that. But um, remember, like, Fred again came out and that's had all right. those sold-out shows at Rod Laver and then did pop-ups at, like, Revolver. Reps, yeah. Mm. Teddy Swims. Interesting. There you go. For three million bucks, I'd want Katy Perry bloody cooking the pies and parking the cars oh, as well. Oh, we're getting some info. Uh, more info on that later, it says here. Mm. Regarding Ooh, Teddy, Swims. Teddy Swims. Teddy Swims. All right. time for one more. Yep. Angelica in Epping. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I- I'm sensing you're sitting on something fairly substantial. What can you tell us? That Justin Martin has played his final game and he won't be returning. 
Fuck! Oh, you reckon he's going to go out on three hundred? Three hundred now. That, that was that was his final game. I there was a bit of talk that he wanted to go out on a win, but that was his final game. That's why he did that big wow. interview. That's uh, why he did that big walk around. That is it. He is <laughs> done. Do you reckon? Hey, Angelica, do you think it's he's done? Done or done with the Tigers going somewhere else? I mean, after his interview, I don't want to think he's going anywhere else because he said he loves this club more than anything, but. There is that speculation, so I don't actually know. I would bet two out of my three children that that was not his last game. Where's your um? Where's your mail from? Yeah, exactly. Where are you hearing this? This is coming from a staff from the club. Oh, no, I don't believe it. No way. Well, you know what? How was the mate? The gold only a few minutes into the I match. Know. He still got it. Oh, of course he does. Yeah, but some people like you know quitting on top. No, nah, no like way. Me, that's why we should leave this game no now. Way. That's you reckon, why we should leave hide and seek. Hey, Lauren, now. you reckon this is on, us on top? This is rock bottom, actually. <laughs> this is rock bottom. All right, any time you come across a juicy rumour in Melbourne, get in touch, slide into our DMs, or give us a ring, 13, 20, 4, 10. Guys, it's just gone 10 to 8. Coming up next, one lady that's going to make hide and seek oh, so wait. much easier and better for us. We've been waiting to get this lady on the air. We're all in love with her. Tell everyone who's coming up next, Clint. Nagi Mahashi. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> we are at a undisclosed location somewhere in Melbourne. We're sleeping here. We're eating here. And we're broadcasting from here until someone knocks on the door and says, come out, come out, wherever you are. The current tally to win, $113,353. A lot of money still up for grabs. And if we are still in here, guys, oh, my God. At the end of the week, what we can keep watching Master Chef, uh, oh, yes. seven thirty Sunday to Wednesday on ten and ten play. Our next guest is making her debut in the Master Chef kitchen. Introducing our next guest. She holds the record for fastest selling book by Australian debut author ever for her book Dinner. No prizes for guessing what that's about. The one normal thing that I don't eat is bananas. <laughs> I know it's really weird. I just hate those awful slimy things. She left behind the world of corporate finance to be a leader in culinary cuisine. Please welcome to our show, Nagi Mahashi! Hey, good Nagi. morning! Wow, what a reception! <laughs> oh my gosh, we are so excited oh, to have Nagi. you on our show, Nagi Mahashi. We've been talking about you for months trying months, to get you on. Months, months. months. months and months and months. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very flattered. Well, Nagi, I'm... And just quickly, I know you don't like bananas, but what about banana oh. paddle pops? Oh, yes. Oh, Oh, anything to do with bananas. Don't really? bring them within a hundred feet of me. <laughs> what about those banana lollies? Oh, yeah. yeah the banana no, lollies. No, no, those banana bread. Artificial bananas, even worse than the real deal. <laughs> oh, Nagi, I, can I say, I, I, I'm, I'm frothing. I'm Clint's a fanboy. A um, I love MasterChef, number one. And number two, I love Recipe and Eats. Um, how are you? I'm good, Jace. How are you? <laughs> Yep. Oh, you've just broken Clint Stanaway's heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was Clint no, asking, not Clint's me? Clint's fanboying. Oh, <laughs> no. That's okay. Right, sorry, sorry. Oh, Clint, can I just answer? I'm great, no. Oh, thanks for asking. No. <laughs> that couldn't have been better. <laughs> My heart's just broken into a million little you know pieces. What? That's okay. He should have introduced no, himself. I've been really. looking at her photo because I was checking. I was looking at your website online. Oh, and yeah. I'm looking at a photo of you. So that's funny. I'm no, that's very sorry. good. I'm to sorry. be fair, Clint Stanaway loves you. I'm a massive fan as well. Nagi's book's the only book I've actually read. That, <laughs> that and Goosebumps when well, I was younger. Um, we made your lamb shanks the other night, Nagi. I just wanted to ask. Oh, so, yeah. how do you go from a career? in corporate finance, just throwing it all away? Because years yeah. of work would have went into that. And then just one day going, screw this, I'm going to make a living out of cooking. I know. Well, you have to be a little bit crazy. That's one essential <laughs> element. <laughs> so in, in all honesty, um, I used to work pretty hard in corporate finance. You know, I was climbing the corporate ladder. And yeah. um, I literally woke up one day and I just thought, why am I putting all this blood, sweat and tears into this soulless, faceless company that I didn't even know who owned the company, actually. Yeah, right. And yeah. I just wanted to really put all that energy into something of my own. And I didn't know at that time whether I was going to open a cafe or a news agent or, you know, I didn't know <laughs> what I was going to do. I just knew that I wanted to try and start my own business. And that's essentially what triggered it. So, and, and yeah. I don't know. You are flying. What was, what was the moment that you went, well, I'm, I'm onto something here? 
It was the month that I made two hundred and eleven dollars on my website, and I got oh. very excited. Really? <laughs> that was about the third or fourth month, and I realized, yep, I'm onto something here. I can make this happen. So, and so that was did, the turning point. Yeah, did right. you ever think Recipe Tin Eats would get more than three hundred and fifty million views Huge. each year? No. Definitely not. Still doesn't even sound real when I when I think about it and hear those like numbers. Like <laughs> six million followers across social media. I love that cooks and chefs are now rock, They're the rock stars. stars yeah. You're the rock stars of the world. I know. I love that. So, I mean, the people that I follow online are all chefs. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. Nagi, what is your favourite all-time recipe? Your favourite dish? On my oh, no, Death meal. Death meal. Yeah, What's on your, your website. Because oh, my favourite death- is your chicken oh, satay. Oh, the Thai, the skewers? Yes. So good. Yeah. So good. That's a really hard one. Everyone always asks me that, and I don't know what to say. <laughs> can I, can I, oh, maybe a grilled cheese. I know that's really boring, but a really good grilled cheese. That'd be right your last meal on earth. So what? I really think that would be my last meal on What's earth. What's the best cheese? We had big cheese chat in here the other day. What's the best cheese on earth, do you think? Best cheese on earth is a hard one, but in terms of grilled cheese, it's about the combination of cheeses that you yeah. use. So you want the mozzarella for the melt plus like a gruyere for the flavour. Oh, and then you've it. got to pan fry it and you've got to use copious amounts of butter. Pan yeah. fry, that's Number the one key. Rule. Well, one thing yes. we can do, we're in hide and seek at the moment. We're locked in this little space. Um, and one thing we can do is pan fry things. And one of the boys in here was pan frying a pizza the other day. Oh, that's right. Because we don't have pizza. an oven. Oh, that's sensational. Pan fried pizza. You could be onto something there. <laughs> Nagi, one other thing that divides people is the air fryer. Where do you sit on air fryers? Oh, I'm on the fence with that. I have oh. tried it. I think it's a lot of real estate to dedicate to it is. a similar appliance. And I think that the um, yeah, it's, the problem is how much it can cook at a time. It's very, yeah. div- you know, you need the family size one, which is fairly sizable, to make yeah. enough food for two people. So the yield is just not great in my book. And right. it's you know, ugly on the bench. I'm, yeah, and the reality is if you want something to taste good, you do need fat. You know, you can't make chips without fat. Yeah. yeah. And one, uh, who wants chips exactly. without fat? One last yeah. one. Um, we have a we have a footballer who joins us on this show by the name of Christian Petrarca. He plays for the Melbourne Footy Club. I don't know if you've seen any of his stuff online. It's going well. You could say bananas, even though you don't like them. Uh, <laughs> on track. On track is uh, his online recipes. Have you seen or heard of any of his stuff? No, I haven't. But as soon as <laughs> I'm done here, I'm going to be googling. <laughs> He's a big fan of He's yours. A huge, also. Massive, He's massive, massive fan. Collab. He's got plenty of time to cook these days. Yeah, he's a bit uh, injured, but... Um, we're going to get him to cook up some of your recipes for us. Hey, just quickly. Oh, I love that. I love that. He can deliver it to where you're hiding out at the moment. Exactly. Well, before we let you go, Clint, can you grab yes. the cordless mic yep. and run? We have a little kitchenette here, Nagi, and what I thought... Well, before we let you go, we'll get your advice. Clint, can you tell Nagi what we have left on in the, the fridge? He's walking... Oh, and to anyone playing along, this might give you an indication of how big or the small distance. the space is because he's call. walking to the kitchen now. He is. Um, he's passing the toilets. If you want to tell Nagi what we have left, and maybe wow. with your expert opinion, you could tell us what we should cook up. Okay, Ooh, Nagi. This will be interesting. We have some vintage cheddar cheese. It's a block situation. Vintage <laughs> five strength. Yep. We mm-hmm. have an onion with six pack of eggs. We have some basmati rice, the microwave version. Oh, fancy. <laughs> we have some baby pickles. They're, they're actually um, sort of in chili, chili type oil. We have some mm-hmm. soy sauce and some cherry tomatoes and some sour oh. skittles for good measure. <laughs> okay. I am seeing a fried rice situation there. <gasps> so yeah. you can use, so scramble up the eggs. And then did you say you had an onion as well? Yeah, we have yep. an onion. Yep. Yep. So you can fry up the onions and then cook the basmati rice, let it cool, chill it overnight if you have time. And then you can fry that up with the soy sauce and the scrambled eggs. Question. Oh, yeah. Where do you sit that on... You use it. And I actually would even throw some pickles in there just to make things a bit interesting because oh, it is a bit yes. of a sad pantry situation you've got there. Nice. Where, do you so the, um, where do you sit it's on the Skittles sad. in a fried rice? Is that a, is that <laughs> a normal <laughs> Skittles thing? In, that's your dessert. And the that's cheese your is your starter. And you know oh, the other option. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and the other thing you could do is you could cook your basmati rice and then you could actually mix a bit of egg through it and then pan fry it. And add some cheese and then pan fry it. And then you've got crispy cheese rice fritters. 
That oh. would be delicious. Okay. Can we sneak Nagi in? All right, Clint, fire that up the camping oh, yeah. stove. All right. <laughs> Nagi and Mahashi. And there too. Oh, she's a genius. The she's woman is a genius. She's done a bloody degustation. We were just after one meal. Good um, on you, Nagi. She debuts on MasterChef. It is 7.30 Sunday to Wednesday on 10 and 10 Play. Nagi, congratulations on all your success. We are massive fans here on the show, and it's been a real treat to have you. Thank you so much for having me. All right, see you, though. There she is, Nagi Mahashi on the air, coming up. I love her. I love her. I love her. We are going to be doing the 5K question. Your chance to win an easy five grand. Just for answering one simple question is next on Nova. Here we go. One question can win you $5,000. Depends how alert and smart you think you're feeling this morning. Uh, there's an easy question for 50 bucks, a hard question for, or medium question for 500, and the super hard one for 5K. All right, let's do it. Let's go to Kilmore. Good morning, Lauren. Oh, good morning, Jason Lauren. How are you? We We're are well. good. We're good. Now, Lauren, would you like to win some yes. cash this morning? I certainly will. I How do. much would you like to win? Um, I'm going to go for broke for 5000 we're right. going for the big one. $5,000. Okay. Rules are simple. We will give you the question. You get three seconds to answer. If you don't know, I strongly suggest you just take a guess. All right? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, Lauren, for $5,000. Here we go. What year was Luna Park first opened in Melbourne? 1978. Two. Ah, oh, no. She took a guess. She took a guess. Didn't Would you believe around. it has been there since 1912? Oh, wow. That's a long time ago, yes. That roller coaster, how, there's some kid hanging off the back of it on $14.95 to operate the brakes, really freaks me out. It's the so scenic good. railway. <laughs> yes, the scenic yeah, railway. I reckon that scenic railway's been there since <laughs> The dawn of time. Yeah. Pretty sure Jesus uh, had a crack. Oh, wow, okay. Hey, um, <laughs> Luna Park. <laughs> <laughs> Speed up, Moses. Hands in the air. They're taking our photo on the loop. Plenty of activity around Luna Park, I've heard this morning. Yes. Hey, nice to meet you, mate. Thanks for giving it a crack, Lauren. <sighs> it's a hard one this morning. It was hard. That was tricky. That's a toughie. Um, guys, right. we had to fly through that because we're running late for something very, very important. Who is ready? For a clue for hide and seek. You got it. Let's go. And this Can clue. I do it now? No. Oh. After the song. Come on. Hurry up. Play the song. This clue is an absolute cracker. You're on the air with Jace and Lauren. Clint's joining us as well. And coming up, Christian Petrarca, for the very first time, will be speaking um, after that bad injury he copped on the field the other week. He is out of hospital at home on the Cabanara and joining us on the air in a couple of minutes. I'm looking forward to catching up with Track. Me too. He Seeing how he's going. Food, he really he? does. He really. I think he hit the pasta as soon as he got home. I like, would. Oh, carb load for... The arancini. You got it. Everything. Cabanara. Okay. As much as I love this chat, can we get on with it? Wow. She it wants is, out. Well, yeah. it's sorry. We said we'd give a clue at 8 o'clock. It's okay, 20 past 8. Okay, okay. We're, we're, we're in hide and seek at the moment. Some of us are turning. Uh, we have been here since Thursday, locked away. Why are you going to blow up at me? I'm Don't... not blowing up at all. Okay, all right. If um, it was me talking this much, though, you'd be yelling at me. First person to find us wins the money. The current tally... A hundred and eleven thousand nine hundred and seventy eight dollars. I want to get out of here. I want to help Melbourne out. I want to get them to win as much money as possible. Where Jace is trying to avoid his family, so he wants to stay for another week. No, I'm ready to get out as well. I Trust read me. it in the Herald Sun yesterday. I am ready to get out. <laughs> cloak and dagger to get us in here. Um, it was cloak and dagger. Now wasn't it? we have a clue. <laughs> But before we get to the clue, oh. a lot has gone down. No clue. Oh, this yes. weekend, what we have been in hide and seek. Boo. Have a listen. Boo. I'm going to catch you if I can. Have you even seen what it's like outside today? I have no you? idea, Loz. Could Maybe be hailing. Not. It could be a hurricane. Who knows? Could be blue sky sunshine. We had a secret drop, didn't we? Boy, a supply been... drop. Yes. In the form of one clip. Stand away. Good morning. How exciting. I feel like I've just arrived on school camp. We just had to do a live cross into the Today Show. You're supposed to be at work this morning. I know some of our viewers at home might be wondering where Clint is this morning. Where's Clint? We can reveal he is right now taking part in a massive game of hide and seek in Melbourne where $250,000 is up for grabs. Wow, this is massive. Well, what's going on? Where are you? <laughs> well, that's been the $250,000 question. How the fuck? That is outrageous, that. 
Total. <laughs> that amount of money. So is that sentence. <laughs> Tomorrow, guys. Oh, my God. She's going to be sitting there foaming at the mouth. Someone please get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Competition. I know where you guys are. I think you guys are in the front theatre in Yarraville. I yes, I asked Nim was running around like a headless chook at a football club. I've been dreaming about it all night. I still think today. Oh, I think you're in the Denny Park Tennis Club. I'm going to knock on the door and you're at the Victorian Croquet Club in Canley. I've never heard of this area before. Oh, Canley. 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 Do you know what we're talking? He's, he's ignoring us. Do you know anymore. what we're talking about? Absolutely not. You know who I'm worried about? Your partner, Paul. He must be really missing me. Do you mind if... Can I just give him a ring? He'll, be, he'll be missing me. Oh, absolutely. Paul, be, hello, oh. Paulie. It's a welfare check. We just want to see if you're doing okay without Loz there. <laughs> I am well and I am fair. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mason Cox from the Pies. Hi, Mace. Good day. Many people calling us and texting us thinking that we are hiding at the Collingwood Football Club. Have you seen people around knocking on random doors down there? There are a few lingerers, you could say. <laughs> Just kind of wrong around how it's fine. Jason, Lauren, come out, come out wherever you are. I'm going to catch you. Time for a new clue. All eyes are on us. Sorry, but we have to dash. If I'm Frank, you can follow me to the water. We are 18.1 kilometres from Chadston. Sorry, you just have to wait there for a sec. Okay, we've got to go to a song. The team are running frantically around everywhere and someone's just called through, I think. We may have been found. Never stop looking. Well, we haven't been found yet. The game is still on. I had we another, are going to be found after this clue. I had another DM overnight as well. We'd love to hear DMs, but can't we give our listeners a clue now? <laughs> Okay. Right. Well, come Mom on. Mum and Dad are fighting. Help them out. And I'm here for it. Well, let's do it. Mm-hmm. All right, Melbourne, it's time to give you a clue. Yeah, this one. We're going to be found, honey. I'm excited. She's, she started packing. But first to Jace's DMs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, why don't you tell us how your kids are going now too? Are they missing you? Be a good time to talk about your family, Sitch. You know what? I don't like your tone. That sounds like a you problem had, because everyone else in Melbourne had, um, wants their clue, 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 clue. bitchy berries for breakfast, clue, clue. didn't we? <laughs> Why? Look, now he's turned. <laughs> Look at him having oh, a little a tanty over there. Melbourne, this is going to help you a huge deal. Yeah, this is. The, Are we ready for it? Yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. yes. We are near one of 96 stops. Oh. What does that mean? We are near one of 96 stops. I would suggest hitting up our socials, Jason Lauren. You can catch up on all the clues you would have missed. We've been ruling out of ruling out some suburbs this morning also. Add Ooh. that one to the list. That's going to help you. Yeah, it will. What did that DM say, Jace? I can't read it out on the air. Um, oh. Hey, there's a brand new one coming up. Uh, we've got another clue coming up at 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Which I think is going to send Melbourne absolutely crazy, mm. running so, towards one place. Yeah, see, I think this one's more helpful. You think the next one's oh, more helpful? Oh, the next one's really going to put it over the edge. Oh, gosh. We're you going know what? Over, it's please. that feeling. You know when you watch like one of those movies where people are on the run and stuff and they always say, like, I can feel the cops, oh, I can yeah, feel yeah, the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel the feel heat. I can, can feel, feel the heat. Like people are breathing down yes. your neck. I'm feeling the heat. We are live from a secret location in Melbourne. First one to find us and knock on the door and say, Jace and Lauren, come out, come out wherever you are. Wins the money. You two okay? <gasps> yeah, he can just, he dishes it out, but he can't cop it. Uh, we'll have it out during the ad break. Uh, let's catch up with the man. I am talking Mr. Christian Petrarca. G'day, Truck. How are we? Oh, More importantly, track. how are you, how are brother? You? I've been better. <laughs> oh, how, how's the recovery going? Uh, it's been pretty tough, to be honest. Yeah, I last um, when did I do it list time last week, to be honest. So seven days now. It's been pretty traumatic. Um, but for five days in ICU, and then last couple of days um, was in uh, just in the ward, and now I'm out of hospital, which is nice. So I'm at home, thank God. Oh, thank um, goodness. So it's been it's been pretty pretty full on. I don't wish this on my worst enemy. It's been no. tough. No, 
Hey, Track, at, at what point did you realise you were in real trouble? Because obviously it was, like, a, a, as a fan watching, it didn't look like a really heavy hit, but obviously s- straight away you would have felt that something was mm. worse than a normal hit. But at what point did you realise this was more serious than just, like, a, a bruise? Um, oh, I knew it was pretty, I knew it was, like, he, he hit me good, to be honest. I, I didn't mm. understand it. I didn't realise the severity of it until two in the morning when I was oh. gassed up and um, they were doing surgery with my eyes open. So I didn't realise it was. <gasps> I didn't realise it was that the severity of it until you know early in the morning on Tuesday morning. I, I just thought it was a couple cracked ribs, which obviously is serious. Yeah. But um, yeah. I thought I could go out and back and play. Um, yeah. So, so, let's, yeah. so, let's, so let's go back because it was Darcy, Darcy Moore's uh, knee or knees um, that got you. But um, you went back out there. How much pain were you, were you in? Because I, I, I was watching and you couldn't actually sort of lift your arms ab- above your yeah. shoulders, could, could you? Oh, it was, it was pretty full on. I think obviously as well, the adrenaline as well. Like I don't think mm-hmm. people understand when you're out there playing, you just want to go out and compete as an athlete. Like you're a competitor, you just want to go out yeah. and do whatever you can. I've been in a similar situation a couple of years ago when I when I fractured my leg in, in the first quarter and did the same thing. I just went out and played the, the, the next three quarters because you just you're on adrenaline. You just you just you don't yeah, really know yeah. what's going on. And had I known now the severity of it, I probably obviously wouldn't have gone back out there. But uh, at the time, you, you know, I didn't know what was what mm. the injury was like and the severity of it. So yeah, Darcy hit me and then. Um, which was right on quarter time, and then went down to the rooms and um, just got assessed. Um, and at the time, I, we, you know, I thought and we thought it was just a, a cracked rib, a couple of cracked ribs. Um, and mm. you know, went want, wanted to go out there and play and compete. And um, yeah, in the second quarter, I was under severe pain. I think when I look back at it now, I think in the moment, I, you know, you realise you um, you saw, but I think when you look back at the TV and the footage, you go, "Geez, that was." Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, pretty, pretty is tough. Part. Mate, Darcy's um, a great bloke, and in no way would he mean to have injured you. Have you heard from him? No, there's no, malice in it. no malice in it whatsoever. Exactly. Um, have you heard no, from Darcy, him at all? Darcy and I have known each other since we were probably 11, 12 years old. We played oh. some under 12 states together and stuff. So, um, right. yeah, now he's messaged me four or five times. He messaged me mm. saying, I, t- I want to owe you dinner. So I said, I'll take you <laughs> on. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, so then you. Um, so, no, he's been good. So then you're, you're in an ambulance, you're headed to hospital, you poor bugger, and you were just talking about what you had to go through because we've heard about, you know, blood transfusions alike. How sort of serious was the situation when you presented at hospital and, and the surgery that followed? Yeah, I didn't. I don't think anyone, like, Bella's um, next to me, I don't think we all really understood the severity of it, to be honest. I think we, you know, got an initial scan around 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock at night and um, the first scan showed two cracked ribs, and then um, just a little bit of bleeding um, around the lung, and then, and then I think uh, I don't know what happened. I think 15 minutes later, one of the doctors um, was just checking my blood levels and noticed my hemoglobin was dropping severely, um, mm. and my blood levels was dropping. So they go, "Let's just do another scan." And then that's when they start to notice that I had four. That's when they noticed after the next mm. scan, I had four cracked ribs, a grade five oh. spleen, and a. Um, <laughs> And a uh, punctured lung too. So um, it went from it went from you know being a, a four out of ten to basically a, a, a ten out of ten as equivalent of a car accident. So it's um it's been pretty full on. I had to yeah go straight into surgery at two a.m. Um, open open surgery. Op- like I wasn't I wasn't under anaesthetic because my blood oh. levels were so low. So oh my gosh! Of- really? So what they were saying? A- they they numb the area, but you're awake for the surgery. Numb the area, put me under a gas mask, but. Uh, dude, those gas masks only do so much. You can mm. still feel it, and, and I think oh. makes the comments a similar heat. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my god, you guys are so uh, tough. Yeah, it's pretty traumatic. Like I look back oh, on it, and I just, yeah. Um, and then, so they had to do a. Uh, I'm, I'm getting the wording right, but a, a mobil- I think it's a mobilization, or uh, I don't know what the word is. Sorry, where they they put a. Um, Almost, they don't want to. They don't want to fix the spleen. They basically just stop the bleeding around it. So they put some stuff around it just to stop the bleeding to it yeah. um, through the groin area, and then they um, through a stent. So they have like an ultrasound where they can see it on the TV and what it looks like. Um, and yeah, then I, so I spent so I spent ICU for what Tuesday to Saturday for Friday, and then was out mm. in hospital um, uh, Sunday morning, Saturday morning. And, yeah. And track, how's Bella and your beautiful parents going? Because like. 
you know, we see you guys out there like warriors on a footy field, but you're human beings with humans behind you, and that's traumatic mm. for them watching you go through that as well. And we saw your beautiful mum giving you a hug yeah, down be in the right. rooms before you got taken off in the ambulance. How are they all? How are they going? Because Bella now has to be your nurse. Yeah, Bella's <laughs> she's been, got to cook honestly, for you. She's been inspirational to me. Honestly, it's been Aww. amazing what she's been able to do since um, since I've had the injury. I'm about to get about to get emotional to be honest because it's been Aww. it's been full on. Like I think, I think people understand the severity of the injury and um, you know people around not just me that it affects everyone. You know, Bella was in hospital at three in the morning. You know, taking phone calls. People are ringing her, asking what's mm-hmm. her going on, what's going on. And coming, coming to hospital, you know, all this stuff, and you know, it's it's, it's pretty amazing. Obviously, coming here now and being home, I'm I'm literally not allowed to do anything. So effectively, mm-hmm. the spleen is a vital part of the immune system. So I had to get all my vaccinations done again. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm basically in isolation for five days because if I touch the outside world, it's pretty much anyone who's sick can it can really affect me. So the so bells had to do everything, Aww. put me to bed, put my socks on. Um, Give me all my medication, cook me dinner. She made a nice roast lamb the other night, which was oh, good. Yeah. Uh, to does give her be- pointers, does, though. Does Bella- <laughs> <laughs> Did she watch your recipe online, mate? Make her watch your recipe that, online. We actually <laughs> watched an old, we actually watched an old <laughs> food cooker of mine, which was good. Oh, um, yeah, I, no, this, she's been amazing. This might be a silly question, but listening to what you've gone through, right, and and how how scary it was, is there any doubt in your mind about returning to the footy field? Oh bloody earth! At the moment, yeah, it's like it's yeah. still raw for me. It's still seven days. I watched a little bit of foot in the week, and I had to turn it off because it's just when you yeah. see a, just an even simple tackle, you just you put yourself back in the situation that you were. So of course, yeah, at the moment it's quite raw, but no doubt with the recovery process and and everything that I'll I'll be able to tick off and my mindset, I'll be able to get back to you know the player I was. Just yeah, yeah at the moment it's just a lot of self doubt, and which is fine. Yeah. It's just a human, it's a natural yeah. feeling, of yeah. course. And we, but, um, um, we saw you hit Instagram and actually say that the season over. That was obviously a pretty easy decision. Well, it's a hard decision, obviously, but given your, you know, health and your situation, you know, that was basically what the doctors were telling you. No more footy this year. Well, it, yes, pretty much. Um, but there's there's so much stuff that I can't do for the next. So I'm not allowed. To, I'm not allowed to run for seven weeks. I'm not allowed to gym for seven weeks. I uh, I can't fly for six weeks. Um, uh, Twelve. I can't. I can't have contact sport for three months. So that basically wow. puts the season yeah. at doubt. Really, yeah. I mean, was there twelve weeks left and of of home and away season? That's pretty much twelve weeks. So for me, it's like I'm not going to have one week to repair for a final if we make it. And you know what I mean. Mm. So I kind of ruled myself out there, to be honest. Yeah, um, yeah but you need to um, rest as well. You don't want to. I, I know that you guys. It's a mental thing too. Yeah. You know, like you, yeah. You I, need... don't, I don't. Yeah. I don't think people realise the, uh, the the mental side of the game too. Like, yeah, physically you can always get yourself back to where you were on ninety percent, but mentally that's that's the biggest thing with injuries so he, is being yeah. able to overcome that self doubt and that confidence to get back out there and play. Well, we're so glad to hear you're back home, Track. We've oh. been worried sick you about you in here. You know what I want to know? Um, track, you're amazing on the footy field. Who won in the game of Uno between you and Bella? Bella beat me 3-0. Oh. And I cheated as well. Get it, Queen. Oh, yeah. And you cheated. <laughs> we were playing Uno in, in here the other night at Hide and Seek, and Clint told us afterwards he was cheating. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would actually let anyone go to bed until I won a game. <laughs> yeah, run down a couple of cards at a time. Surely. <laughs> that just goes through the keeper. Hey, just quickly. Now, my dad, who's a trainer at the footy club, I've just been... I've been worried that he was the one that said it was okay to go out there. <laughs> can, you tell, can you tell me it wasn't him going, oh, you'll be right, mate. Just, you know, just it get was out not there. Stunners. No, okay. it wasn't oh, your dad. It's probably the guy there. No, Good. And no, watching the footage of your mum, <laughs> watching the footage of your mum near you when you're on the stretcher, did she have a few in her at that time or was early a in the few game? What? No, I don't think so. I right, think it was okay. first quarter, so I don't reckon. No, yeah, definitely right. not. She probably <laughs> needed a few Chardonnays afterwards. Like it did happen in the fourth. Hey, track We love you, track. We love you, mate. We're in high. Hiding, bro. I know. Uh, do you? I mean, me do you have a sneaking here, suspicion as so to I'm where we might be? I haven't be? been on my. I haven't been on my phone for a few days. I've seen a few clues. I think one of the clues is it's you're near Red or something, right? Yeah. And you're not near the Docklands. No. Any, Any ideas? ideas? And, then the la- and then the last stop was like 96. Yeah. Did it didn't stop 96 or something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, uh, yes, yes. I don't know. Near Red. Is, is Red's Red? 
Maybe Revs. 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 <laughs> we are not at Revolver. Clean, clean you, team, are, clean you, aren't, you aren't going to Revs for a while, <laughs> yeah, yeah, brother. It's going to be a while. Track, I'm so keen to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. If Bella needs a rest, I'm happy to come over and cook you eggs on toast yeah, just to get out do. of this house. <laughs> hey, Track, we're so, we're so happy and relieved that you're okay. Please, yeah, rest, um, up, please rest up and you know, send uh, thank Bella you guys. I appreciate and the family it. Thank you for all the support. Love. There he is. Thanks, Lots of guys. Love. Get well soon, Track. Absolute legend. Christian Petrarca from the Mighty D's joining us on the air this morning. Wow. That's... That's an oh, eye-opener, mate. Like, awake during mm. surgery. Yeah, These I think, blokes, and I think people forget how tough footy players are. Yeah. The girls and the boys, you know, they just they put their bodies on the line each mm. and every week, and as fans, we should, um, we should really appreciate that. Hey, it's just gone 16 to 9 here on Nova. I'm so excited about this. We have some news to break for you, Melbourne. Guess who's coming to town? Ladies and gentlemen, Nova's Red Room presents... Teddy Swims. Teddy Swims. I've tried everything but therapy, part 1.5, featuring Loose Control and The Door, is out now to download and stream. Yeah! Oh my gosh. So Teddy Swims is doing a tour, right? Yep. He's doing a tour, but he is doing a sideshow, baby. He's doing a Nova Red Room. I am so excited. It is on Sunday, the 14th of July at the Northcote Theatre. Now, it's I think it's before his big show. This yes, is a it private, is. Yep. intimate, little afternoon gig where you can get up close and personal with Teddy Swim. He has had over a billion, not a million, a billion views on YouTube. <gasps> Sugar. Now, the only way to get an invite to know yep. this Red Room featuring Teddy Swims can't buy them. next month. You can't buy them. You need to register via the Nova Player, or you can call us now on 13 24 10 to get your invite. This is going to be one of the biggest Nova Red Rooms of the year. I it is am happening so right here in Melbourne, and it is with this man right here. Welcome back to Jason Lauren in lockdown. Oh. Baby, we've lost our minds. It's we, hide and seek. I don't know what day it is. Can we repeat is. what we just said? Absolutely. I don't know what time it is, but I've spent too much time with you boys. We're at a secret location somewhere hidden in Melbourne. I don't know if this is an extra clue, but I didn't know there was a pool here. Oh, man. <laughs> well, Jace asked where executive Why? producer Brody don't was. Don't embarrass him. It's private. And, and I said, I think he might be dropping the kids off <laughs> at the pool. And then and someone, I didn't know there was a hidden pool in. Someone yelled out a terrible expression over there. They said, he's say? in the can. And I said, oh, yeah. I hate both those. Don't ever say that again. In the can. Do you know I, what gives me the ick? <laughs> People that say Lou. He's in the Lou. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Even the word toilet freaks me out. It's bathroom in my house. Someone's in the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Anyway, all right. What about the dunny can? Oh, Uh, the what? The dunny can. No, no, no. Maybe if you. What do you call it? The bathroom. Go in the bathroom. Bathroom chat freaks me out. (laughs) Freaks, freaks (laughs) the wizard. Freaks me out. (laughs) The wizard. I I was mid pee yesterday, and I thought someone knocked. Don't say pee. Sorry, I thought someone knocked on the door, and I'm like midstream. Well, you you know, as a bloke, you can't stop. No, no. What do you mean, as a bloke, you can't stop? You you can't can't shut off the hose. No, when the hose is going, there is no stopping it. No, you can't stop. No, you can't just like use your pelvic floor to squeeze it. No, no, you have drippage. No, yeah. Sometimes you can pivot a little bit. What do you mean pivot? Just you get you can shuffle your legs around a little bit. And just, yeah. What and cut off the supply? No, I just change but the way. Is it where, like the when, tracking what about if you twist it? Like you know, when you get a when, oh, in a hose where you bend it we have, and the water we're stops. Not, we haven't got kinks in it. If you got kinks in it, you go in a hospital. <laughs> You need we are new still hose. in hide and seek, and I have been here tell? for five days. Too long, my loves. No, Please come and get us. This is. I'll tell you what. What are we doing now? Because this is, is not on the. This is not on the log. Dummy it is, chat. It has been a very. Very fun couple of days playing Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek. Can we just say thank you to everyone who has been getting involved? We are oh getting. Oh my god! What? <laughs> what? Oh no! Surely not. <laughs> oh no! Let's cross no, now. No, don't to do executive it. Executive producer Brody. Brody, where are you? Hey kids, I'm at the pool. And, uh... <laughs> Hang up on him. Get. That is unprofessional. So We're us, in a work. Tell place. us more. It's actually, it's actually a clue in that. Is it a public pool or what? Stop What's it. What's the setup? <laughs> It's a private pool at the moment, and the <laughs> slide is running well. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mitch. 
poor Mitch, who's our tech, oh, who's no. living with us. Does that mean he's got a microphone in there? Because that's going to no. He's got the phone. But earlier, I was oh. like, we need a cordless mic, and apparently Mitch was on the throne oh. and was like, out of all the times he needed a cordless mic, it's now. Oh, he's on the loo. <laughs> The pre-packaged we so- meals have been great, but they're stuck in, <laughs> stuck Hang in up the on him. Hang well, up on him. thanks very much to Dynamic. Please. Okay, now if anyone, if How's anyone the chili con con this can find it in the goodness of their heart to come and rescue oh, me, me, I will well. give you a well over $100,000 because I want out of hide and seek. In fact... <laughs> I've had enough. Guys, I've had enough. I'm dressed so heavily in Nova merch. Like, I've even got Nova socks on, ready for someone to walk through the door and give them the money. Mm. I'm dressed like the Nova boy. 132410 is our number if you are out there getting involved in hide and seek. Brody, should we take some calls No, next? hang up on him. Please do. <laughs> hide and hide and hide and seek. Nova's $250,000 hide and seek. Yes, Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek is on $109,160. That is absolute life-changing money. And the faster you find us, the more you win. It is all thanks to Alexis of Brighton just along the Nepean Highway. You can make a dynamic entrance with the Lexus LBX City SUV. Go in and check it out today. Guys, what are you... what? We've hit rock bottom of boredom. Jace is smashing pizza shapes for breakfast, and Clint's currently colouring in wooden spoons with textiles. Give me a look. Stay in the lines. It's, it's green. It's very satisfying. <laughs> well, you know what? Get us out of here. Is this over? We might be getting out. Now? Yep. Stop colouring, Clint. Okay, sorry. Nikita is joining us on the line from oh Bentley. My God, Nikita. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hi, morning. Nikita, I've just been told by our team that someone is on the security camera what? outside where we are at the moment. There is. The question is, is that you? I hope so. $109,000 up for grabs. Where are you and how did you end up there? Um, I'm at the Palais Theatre in St Kilda. Um, I'm here with the, the eyes of Mr Moon from Luna Park. Um, oh, yes. Yep. Is that related to one of the clues? Eyes on you. Yes, all eyes on us. Um, and the red all over Luna Park um, currently being fixed right now, so it's not made to be broken. Oh. Um, yeah, so feeling semi-confident. The crossed. latest clue was we are near one of 96 stops. How does that relate? Yeah. Um, the tram line just out front. I think there's 96 stops. Oh, hopefully. you think it's a tram line? The 96 tram does go through St Kilda. Are you at the uh, main doors, the box office just on your right there? Yes. Big wooden doors. Big wooden doors, yep. Big old theatre. Can't really see through the windows and the doors though, can you? No. All blacked out. Have you heard any noises coming from inside? Um, not too many, no. Oh, you haven't heard me screaming for help? <laughs> Get <laughs> or, me out of here. Or producer Brody. <laughs> Are you ready to knock on the doors and say the word, Jason Lauren, come out, come out, wherever you are? I'm ready. Nikita, three, two, one. Jason Lauren, come out, come out, wherever you are. Are we going? We're going. Going where? Nowhere. Oh. We're not there. Oh. Oh. oh, Nikita, I don't know who's more disappointed, you or me. Nikita, <laughs> we are not at the Palais Theatre in St Kilda. All right, thank you. Oh, oh she flat. sounds so devastated. Flat. The great news is for all the other people out there seeking, the game is still on. Damn it. I was so confused then. The me money. Too, Jace was like, come on, let's come walk on, to the are door. Are we going? And I'm like, and thought, but oh. we're not at the Palais <laughs> Theatre. I've maybe for a minute thought we are were. We? I've completely you, swear we are. Have you drugged me and moved me have in the middle of the night? <laughs> Please move me in the middle of the night back to my house. A hundred and eight thousand. Is this all a bad dream? Nine hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> the money's still in play. All right, Melbourne. That is it. We are getting out of here, but... Okay, we're not getting out of here. That is false advertising. <laughs> Don't say things like that. Do you want that. to go rogue? I need to do a pep talk to our dear listeners. Okay. Do it. You need to try harder. 
<laughs> You're not looking hard enough because we are still here. Oh, we've broken up. Melbourne. Let me with enjoy this, mate. Come on. With passion, we need you to search Think long about it. and hard. Write them down. I'm good Look for another couple of days. I'm good for Get another couple of days. Get paper out. I'm going to have a little Come nap. Come on. Come on. I might watch some Seinfeld We're this afternoon on a laptop. I'm uh, done with Jace Hawkins. Might microwave a meal. You I've already a, microwaved a meal. You've had three already. Pizza shapes for I've breakfast. got a good week in me. All right. We have a brand new clue. See, I think the clue coming up at 10 o'clock this morning. Can I give a little one? No, nope, is going to give us a matter About of minutes. About what we heard last night? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do whatever you like. Tell them where we are. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> a brand new clue coming oh, up at 10 a.m. All the other clues are online. Jason Lauren on socials. We'll be back at 10 with the oh, biggest geez. clue yet. Oh. It's going to be a good day. Jason Lauren. Jason Lauren. <laughs> Wake up feeling good on Nova 100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.